Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Monday the 14th of August and ending Friday the 18th of August 2017. This is options expiration week for the summer month of August. It's not necessarily the most exciting week of the year uh, because it's still August, it's still summer, it's not triple expiration. But we have seen a pickup in the volatility index and the market is starting to move a little bit better. So let's take a look at everything we've got and we'll go into the week. So here's the ES front month futures contract. We got a dip earlier in the week. That's what increased the volatility index. Um, Friday was flat, generally speaking, but Thursday we did see a move. Major indices, the crude oil number closed at 48.77, down five cents on Friday. Gold down four dollars and ten cents, which is a blip, not a big deal. S&P cash index was up three on Friday after dipping earlier in the week. Uh, three points obviously being very flat. The NASDAQ recovered 43 points of a bigger drop on Thursday. Socks up six, also down now for the last couple of months. The biotechs at two month lows down, uh, but it was up 23 on Friday. The VIX lost back. Uh, look at this, this is what's interesting. The VIX at 15.51, down 53 cents. Remember, we've been suffering from a VIX that's been under 10 for a while now, and this is starting to pick up. Can this lead to something bigger? Yeah, this is just a normal number now for the VIX at fifth in the mid teens. So, you know, you'd like to see it back in the 20s for some real volatility as we head into uh, September. It may not happen this week. We'll see what happens. The trend 1.35 on Friday puts the 10 day moving average at 1.03. NASDAQ volume was 1.8 billion shares. What's on the lighter side of what we've been seeing? Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was plus 103. It's been negative on the last 10 days on average, plus 18. 88 on the New York, negative 392 is the 10 day moving average. So we've been seeing the advanced decline ratio go negative overall. Uh, but again, Friday itself was kind of positive. Google up six and a half, Apple up two. That's uh, a little bounce back for Apple. Amazon up 11 after selling off recently. Netflix up two. You know, the big ones have been down, these big five or six that we always talk about, up two on two and a half on Tesla. Oh, uh, the TLT, which is the 20-year bond ETF, up six cents. So that's pretty much flat. Goldman Sachs down a buck thirty-five. So it tried to break out and failed. It is what it is. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. Switch this to 10-minute charts or 10-minute candles, so you can see the whole week. So Monday was very dead, uh, you know, basically a flat opening in a very narrow range. Tuesday, small gap down, rallied up. Uh, then we topped out. As Trump started to talk about North Korea, that was the high of the week. Came back, closed slightly negative for the day. Wednesday, gap down, tried to recover, and basically got back to break even. Thursday, the gap down and just kept heading lower. And then Friday, the flat opening and the flat session, as it's a summer Friday. NASDAQ side, not much different. Gave back some points for the week. All right, so what do we have coming out this week in terms of economic data? And then uh, we'll just focus on, you know, Monday could be a little light, but everything else we'll see. So Monday, there's no data. There's thir there's uh, some bonds and stuff like that. But Tuesday, we've got retail sales an hour before the bell along the, with the Empire State Manufacturing Survey and import-export prices. We've got business inventories 30 minutes in and the housing market index 30 minutes in. And that's it. On Wednesday, we've got the MBA Mortgage Applications Index. Housing starts an hour before the bell. The uh, weekly oil inventories an hour in, and the Fed minutes from the last meeting at 2 p.m. Thursday, we've got the weekly jobless claims number. Philly Fed, that's an hour before the bell. We've got industrial production and capacity utilization at 9.15 a.m. Uh, we've got leading indicators at 10. We've got the Natty gas number at 10.30. We've got some bond stuff, and that's about it. And then Friday, we've got consumer sentiment 30 minutes in. That's the Michigan number and nothing else that matters. So it's not a super hyper week, none of our big numbers, but there's still enough there that it could get the market moving. We'll see what we get uh, from that perspective. And that's it. I mean, let's just see. It's still August, but things have been picking up a little bit. It was a good last week. Overall, Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.